Hi guys, how's it going? I'm Amanda from Amanda Around the Globe, and <laughs> this is Chester. He will not stop barking, so he's gonna be in the video. Today I'm making a video about how I budget while working full time. A lot of people have asked me about this, and so I just wanted to show you guys what I'm doing now that I'm working full time because in the past few years I've been traveling full time or working part time on working holiday visas and now that I have a full time income I budget a little bit differently so let's get into it. Yeah, Tista, let's get into it. Okay, so when I first moved to Australia in, when was it, in May, I started reading this book by the Barefoot Investor. It's um, an Australian author and this is a really popular book in Australia. I'm sure if you live in Australia, you have heard of it. So I read this and I started following the principles here. It just helped me learn a little bit more about finances in Australia, just like the way that the superannuation works here. It's a little bit different than American 401ks. So yeah, I just picked this up and kind of just decided to follow what he says in this book. I really like this book because it helps you start from the beginning and when I came to Australia I applied for the partner visa which I made a whole other video about and that visa costed a lot of money which I put on a credit card and I am paying off slowly but surely so this book is really really helping me work that out. So in this book you kind of go through stages of getting your finances together little by little and it's been really helpful for me because some of my financial goals in moving to Australia were to obviously pay off that visa, also to put some more money into long-term savings and not just be paying for the visa. Like the last few years I've been saving and then spending all my money on travel and now I want to kind of build more wealth and build more savings. So that's that's my goal and that's why I started reading this book. His, his principle here is that you have like this situation. So you have your income and then you put your income into a few different buckets. In the book, he suggests having a few different bank accounts and I did, stop licking me, stop licking me. I did open a few different bank accounts. So what I have set up is I have one everyday expenses account, which is just the money that I use like that I plan to spend during the week because I get paid weekly now. Um, and then I also have a savings account which I use for holidays and uh, long-term savings at the moment. And then I also have a superannuation account which is like a 401k in America. And I also have a fire extinguisher account which is what um, he recommends in this book. And that is to pay off debts and to pay stuff off. Okay, so this is like what he suggests in the book. So you have your income and it goes into your everyday expenses account and then you put 10% into like a splurge, which is what you would spend on like coffees and eating out. You'd put 10% into a smile, which is like long-term savings, which is like for holidays and stuff like that. And then you put 20% into a fire extinguisher account, which is to pay off any debts that you have. The only debt that I currently have is that visa that I'm paying off. Um, and then you should be spending about 60% of your income on daily expenses, including all of your bills, like rent and stuff like that. And then you should have 9.5% of your wage into a grow account, which is like your superannuation or a retirement account. And then in another institution, he recommends having $2,000 of like emergency money, which is also really helpful. I do try to keep a significant amount of money in savings just because if something does happen then I can afford to pay for it. For example, I recently won a trip to Italy <laughs> through work and though the trip was paid for for flights and accommodation and all the tours and stuff were paid for, um, I if I didn't have savings then I wouldn't have been able to afford to go because I still had to be paying for food and for any incidentals that I needed. Oh, I think that's pretty much it. That's pretty basic for what I'm doing. Uh, I'm basically just following this book and what he says. If you live in Australia, I highly recommend this book. I'll link it down below. If you live in America, I highly recommend the book, I Will Teach You To Be Rich. I've talked about that book a billion times on this channel and it is the book that really helped me turn my finances around and get more, get my life a bit more together. So yeah, it's good to be back to YouTube. I haven't made a video in a while. Um, I hope you guys like this one. Please let me know down below what you would like to see in the future because I haven't made videos in a while. I've just been 
feeling like I've made every video that I could think of and I've just kind of come to a situation where I'm not super inspired anymore with ideas. So if you guys want to see anything in particular, please let me know down below and I will make sure to add that to the list of videos to make. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!